As rideshare drivers, we have two third-party navigation app options, uh, Waze or Google Maps. Today, we're gonna compare the two, discuss the features that both provide, and be sure to stick around to the end because I'll share which one of those two I've used for my entire six and a half years of rideshare driving. All right, so again, Waze and Google Maps are your two navigation app options. And you can see the options here, both within the Uber and the Lyft driver apps. Uber does have its own built-in navigation and Lyft also has a built-in navigation too, which is actually powered by Google Maps. With the Uber driver app, you can change this navigation setting by selecting the top left clipboard icon, then select account, then you'll select app settings, and then you'll select navigation. And with Lyft, you'll just select your picture in the top left corner, then you'll select settings at the bottom, then you'll select navigation, you'll select navigation again, and then there's where you can edit which app you want to use. But let's look at Waze first. Uh, this is what Waze will look like when the app launches from your driver app. And in order to start a ride, you'll just select that go now button. And if you want to see those options at the beginning again, you'll just select that down arrow at the bottom. Here you have a few options. You can look at the routes and it first pops up with a list view so it shows you the time in a list view or you have a map view. You can also look at the route overview here. So if you select that, you can see your route. And with Waze, you can also add a stop if you'd like. So if you select that search icon, if the passenger wants to go to like a, a coffee shop or something along the way, you can add a stop on the route. And Waze is known to have the best traffic data because users update the data in real time. So in the bottom corner there, you'll see that little orange circle. And here's where users can report things. And the main things here are traffic, if there's a crash or if there's a closure, this helps keep the traffic data most up to date. And here's a quick look at the actual turn-by-turn -turn navigation experience with Waze. Pretty straightforward, pretty clean. And there is a trick with Waze. If you wanna see the route overview really quickly, all you have to do is just slide the map and then you select the overview button in the bottom corner there. All right, now let's take a look at Google Maps. So here's what Google Maps will look like when it launches from the driver app. You'll see the route overview. You can see that it has highlighted the route that it would prefer you to take. It also has a couple other alternate routes that you could take. In order to start the ride, you'll just select start. And at any time during the ride, if you'd like to look at the route overview again, you just select that icon to the left of the exit button with the two arrows. And if you want to go back to navigation, you just select recenter. Just like Waze, Google Maps has the option to add a stop along the way. And also like Waze, Google Maps has added user reporting as well. Although I'm not sure how many users actually use this. I've done it with Waze a bunch of times. I've never done it with Google Maps. For me personally, when I'm driving with Waze, I put more emphasis on reporting. I guess I just don't have the same mentality when I'm using Google Maps. And here's a quick look at the actual turn-by-turn -turn navigation experience with Google Maps. Again, straightforward, clean, very similar to Waze, but just a different look and feel. All right, so there's the comparison of the two apps. They're pretty similar for the most part. They're just, the interfaces are a little bit different. The look and feel is a little bit different. I personally, for my six and a half years, have always come back to Google Maps. Google Maps is my favorite. I like the interface. I like the look and feel. Waze is very similar as far as navigation. The navigation is really similar. The one main difference for me is that overview look that Google Maps provides. With Waze, it's a little bit harder to find. Like there is that trick where you can slide the map and see the overview, but with Google Maps, there's a button there that you can press. You can see the overview at any point in time throughout the ride. I like to look that over sometimes. I just like to see that overview as fast and easy as possible. I also like to see the different routes that you can choose. And I found that it's much easier to do that with Google Maps as opposed to Waze. Now Waze is still a very viable app. It's all personal preference. So Waze is more like a set it and forget it app kind of they just want to set the ride they want to set the route for you and let you just forget about it and worry about driving for me personally i like to look at the different routes for some newer drivers ways might be better because again it's set it and forget it just let Waze do the work for you. It's gonna find the best route. And again, the actual turn-by-turn -turn navigation experience is very similar between the two. The main difference is the look and feel. I personally like the look and feel of Google Maps, but some drivers might prefer Waze. I also love that Lyft has Google Maps built into their in-app navigation. That's the best navigation experience on either platform that I've found. Um, I wish Uber would, would be able to implement it, but the reason that Lyft actually has it in their app is because they've partnered with Google. And there have been brief periods of time throughout my rideshare driving experience where I have given ways a try. It might be a time where I've been upset with Google Maps that it hasn't updated a certain detour or something and I've gone over to Waze, but there have been times where I've used 
where I've switched to Waze and that detour hasn't been updated in Waze either. So since I prefer the user interface and experience in Google Maps, I always go back to it. There have just been certain times where I've tried Waze. For, for all drivers, I recommend try Google Maps, try Waze, see which one works best for you. But what about you guys? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Waze? Do you prefer Google Maps? Do you use Uber's in-app navigation or do you use the, the Lyft in-app navigation? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.